Starship does not bring the heat. Dragon arrives at the ISS. Polaris reminds us they're still doing things. More Starlink birds ride on another record tying Falcon. And we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. On Monday afternoon, SpaceX conducted a spin prime test for what appears to be its Center 3 Sea Level Raptor 2 engines. And it also appears everything went nominal, Chuck. You know, since the test lacked any kaboomage. Unlike its booster's recent spin up. These tests are meant to test only the engine's ignition sequence prior to actual ignition. And by the way, Lab Padre re released his capture footage of SpaceX workers up the road during Booster 7's explosion last Monday on their new weekly roundup video series, as well as Elon inspecting the rocket for damage afterward. I recommend you subscribe to his channel, especially if you're all about the nitty gritty behind the scenes details of Starbase operations. More Highway 4 closures for testing are possibly on the books today through the rest of the week. At 10.21 a.m. Eastern Time on July 16th, the Dragon capsule for NASA's CRS-25 resupply mission rendezvoused with the space station and autonomously docked. Part of its cargo are new spacesuits and a main bus switch replacement. She'll spend about a month in orbit before heading back to Earth for splashdown mid-August. In the future, Crew Dragon crew, Polaris Dawn, completed another week of classroom training and capsule simulations at SpaceX HQ. Wish I had more to tell ya. On Sunday morning, SpaceX launched their 22nd mission to Starlink's fourth shell from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral, carrying 53 satellites on another record-tying booster. This was the third to fly for a 13th mission. And despite shoddy weather, nailed the landing on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship bobbing on the Atlantic Ocean. Landing just one Merlin engine in preparation for landing on our Stage drone. One landing leg deploy. Heard confirmation from the teams that the landing Stage one legs landing deployed. Confirmed. The company and its founder following up that this marks 31 completed missions so far this year for Falcon 9, delivering 351 metric tons to orbit, about twice as much useful mass as the rest of the planet combined. But a thousand times more per year will be needed to make life multiplanetary. Elon also twatted that Dish Network CEO is trying to steal the 12 gigahertz band meant for space internet. Not cool, brah. So he suggests customers and potential customers should turn snitch and run and tell Uncle Sam, hey, that's no fair. Because I know you're concerned, I am still patiently waiting for my Starlink delivery. I can only hope it works when it arrives. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. Today, rocket provider Relativity Space and another California-based space company, Impulse Space, announced they have joined forces to beat SpaceX to Mars to become the first commercial partners to land on the Red Planet in 2024. Both companies have SpaceX-related team members who are still fans of Elon and SpaceX. Impulse itself was founded by SpaceX's first hire, Tom Mueller, after he left the company. Relativity will provide the rocket, the first fully 3D printed and fully reusable two-stage BFR lookalike called Terran R, currently in development and follow-up vehicle to their Terran 1 rocket, also in development, but expected to launch on its maiden flight this year. Actually, the company just completed their first spin start test this week, and like Starship 24, without any unnecessary fire. And Impulse will provide the Mars cruise vehicle and lander, mimicking NASA's past strategies that have proven dependable. That's because you can't go wrong with shoots, brah. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for sharing this moment with me. Yeah, I felt it too. But my heart belongs to my local supporters backing the channel. We're in a serious relationship because they buy me nice things, like this Joe Rogan microphone. That's TV money. <laughs> but sugar daddy or not, be sure to have a nominal weekend. And until next time, Godspeed.